hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this video is a part of our tutorial series on uh, the preparation of c++ interview so far we have seen nine different questions uh, related to the c++ interview and uh, we also have seen some advanced concept of c++ so in this video we will discuss our 10th question in this series so let's start it uh, what is the difference between function overloading and operator overloading now these both are very uh, must known concepts especially function overloading if you are uh, making a game or some uh, heavy duty application which utilize uh, lo uh, which use lot of memory so to utilize the best performance uh, from your code and uh, consume the minimal amount of memory for maximum work you have to have the good knowledge of function overloading and operator overloading so first we will see function overloading it is basically defining a function in numerous way such that there are many ways to call it or simple term you have multiple version of the same function so we will see uh, some example of function overloading then you will get a clear picture of this definition uh, next we have operator overloading it is basically giving practice of giving a special meaning to the existing meaning practice of giving a special meaning to the existing meaning of an operator or in simple term defining the predefined meaning we'll see example of both uh, then next we have parameterized function are good example of function overloading as just by changing the argument or parameter of function you can make it useful for different purposes uh, polymorphism is a good example of an operator overloading polymorphism polymorphism is also known as pillar of O. as an object of uh, allocation class can be used and called by different classes so first uh, let me take a look at uh, example of function overloading so we have our function of integer type which is gfg at first we are giving it two parameter both of integer type and second we are giving it a parameter of character type so it's a good example of function overloading then we have the example of operator overloading also here now first we will take a deep dive into operator overloading or i will go first with function overloading so because function overloading is most commonly used concept of c++ function overloading is a feature of object oriented programming where two or more functions can have the same name but different parameters as we have seen in our a previous example when a function name is overloaded with a different job it's called function overloading when a function name is overloaded with different jobs it is called function overloading in function in function overloading function name should be same and the argument should be different so function name should be the same but argument should be the different function overloading can be considered as example of polymorphism yes it can consider because polymorphism mean uh, poly mean many morphism mean form mean an object which have many forms so uh, in case of function overloading we have our same function with same name but it can perform a load of different tasks according to the parameter list 
parameter should follow any one or more of the following condition for a function overloading so let me take a look at some conditions parameters should have different types as in first function call we have integer type but in second function call we have double type now I will show you an example of this uh, function overloading I have, I have already typed the basic template of our program <coughs> and now I will uh, define a function of void type because it will not return any value it just uh, it will just print the values so I will name this function as add it will accept two integer type parameters and let's say int y define the function body inside of this I will see out some of these two let's say x plus y now I will again overwrite this function as both have the same name and it will accept two parameter of double type let's say double a and double b now inside of main I will call these two function add I will provide let's say 5 and 10 integer type argument and next I will provide let's say 11.10 and 22.10 double type try to run this program so you can see we only use one function to perform addition task on two different type of variable an integer type and some type but if you will try to let's pause try to give an other type of uh, uh, argument let's suppose we pass here and one integer type and one double type let's save this and run uh, now you can see it has thrown an error call of overload in and double is ambiguous code we have defined both variable as of double type but let's suppose we change the type of this parameter and try to run it again so now we have successfully calculated both the values so this thing is function overloading one example of function overloading now come back to our second condition which is parameter should have a different number for example we have this add which accept two arguments and then we have same add but it accept three arguments so let's take a look at example of these two so here we define our void function add which will accept two arguments then we again override this function add but now it will accept three argument of integer type when we will call this 
टू आर्ग्यूमेंट फंक्शन एंड थ्री आर्ग्यूमेंट फंक्शन इट विल एक्सिक्यूट दर्स कोड अकॉर्डिंगली सो यू कैन सी दिस वर्ल्ड एड फंक्शन विल मेक द एडिशन ऑफ टू वेरिएबल एंड प्रिंटेड एंड दिस विल मेक द एडिशन ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल एंड प्रिंटेड parameter should have different sequence of parameter so let's suppose uh, uh, we have this add function which have two different type of now you can uh, define as many type of different uh, parameter uh, which your function can uh, accept like this function is accepting an integer type and also an double type and here we have a double type and integer type so sequence of these will um uh, will be matter and if you uh, pass the argument in different sequence it may throw us an error for example here we have our uh, add function again accepting two parameter argument one first one is integer type and second one is double type and it is printing it printing the addition of these two and uh, here we have our second function which are also accepting as accept accepting two type of uh, argument double and integer but uh, the sequence of uh, argument are different so when we will call this function it will be our result now let us take a look at another example here we have a function of void print uh, accepting one parameter <coughs> integer i and it will simply print out it then we have same uh, print function we are overloading it uh, but this time we are accepting a double type of argument and uh, third time we are accepting an character type of argument in main we will print these one by one and you can see the result now let's take a look at some documentation type of definition of how actually function overloading work exact match function name and parameter if not the exact match is not found then character unsigned character and short are prompted into int integer type and float is prompting into the double type if no match is found c++ tries to find a match through the standard conversion else it will throw us an error now let's see how operator overloading works in c++ in c++ we can make operators work for user defined classes this means c++ has the ability to provide the operators with a special meaning for a data type this ability is also known as operator overloading for example we can overload an uh, operator plus in a class like string so that we can concatenate two string by just using plus operator other example class where arithmetic operators may be overloaded as complex number fractional number big integer so operator overloading is simple compile time polymorphism so it will uh, work at compile time of our code it is an idea of giving special meaning to an existing operator in c++ without changing its original meaning for example we have this integer type a then we have this float type of b and sum now if we say sum is equal to a plus b here variable a and b are of type integer and float both are of different type 
which are built in data types hence the additional operator plus can easily add the uh, add the con uh, add the content of a and b this is because additional operator plus predefined to add variable of built in data type only now consider another example we have a class a then we have our main function and then we have object of class a a1 a2 and a3 and let we say a3 is equal to a1 plus a2 in this example we have three variable where we are trying to add two object which are of user defined type so if we we can uh, use operator overloading for doing this amazing stuff so that's all from today's tutorial in next tutorial we will discuss the difference between array and list till then take care and don't forget to like share and subscribe